Again, my name is Angel, and Rhonda and myself want to welcome you back to your skincare sales specialist certificate course. We are now on course number six. So, let's begin by connecting what we have learned so far to the fifth step. Again, as I have taken you through some amazing facts, some statistics and highlights of a new awards that Avon has earned, and a history of Avon's first. And with understanding of all the top skincare concerns from a consumer's perspective, your ability to inform and share this information with your customers Proving that Anu is a trusted brand will give you all the tools you need to approach your customer. Building on the, that premise, we have now learned how to effectively determine our customer's skin type and concerns simply by looking at their skin and listening to what they say. There are some simple things we do every single day and we do not even think twice about doing these things. First, we brush our teeth and then we follow with flossing. Next, we wash our hair and then style it every day. Many of us even follow the same pattern when getting dressed. Pants first, then shirt, then our shoes. Why do we create and follow these regimens in our life? Because they get us the best results we want. Brushing our teeth gives us healthy teeth. Styling our hair makes us presentable to the world. And getting dressed is a better alternative than going to work in our pajamas. Though I often wish I could go into work in my pajamas, don't you? Your skincare regimen can and should be the same way. The best way to achieve the results of beautiful skin is through a simple daily skincare regimen. With a smart regimen like Avon's, each regimen step follows a different skin need. A regimen can and should be simple, fast, and help you achieve your most beautiful skin. The Anu Regimen consists of four simple steps. First is to cleanse. Second would be to treat. Third will be to moisturize. And fourth will be an eye treatment. By now, you've done a great job at building trust with your customer by sharing some great insight about Anu. You have demonstrated your expertise by determining her skin type and skin concerns. You have then made the right regimen recommendations to her that will address her skincare needs. Now, it is time to respond to her thoughts and feelings about investing in her beauty. For some, once they have found the solution, they are ready to buy. For others, you may run into an objection. Objections? What? For some of you, objections are easy. For others, they are more difficult. For some objections become the barrier between you and a skincare regimen sale. Guess what? Fear of the objection is a barrier that you are allowing to come between you, a happy customer, and your success. Remember, fear is false evidence appearing real. If you see objections as a simple no, it becomes a dead end road. She's not interested and that is it. Well, I'm here to let you know that I am eager to share with you a different perspective. Are you ready? What is an objection anyway? It's a sign of interest, a request for more information, or a customer's concern. 
or it could be a fear that needs to be satisfied in order to continue guiding her through your sales process and to its conclusions. Thinking of the top objections you hear, what is the customer actually saying? No, I don't want to and never will I use Abram products or buy from you. What she's really saying is, I'm saying no or a form of no because you have not given me enough compelling reason to use Avon and new skincare products or buy from you at the present time. Basically, you haven't satisfied all of her concerns or priorities. In other words, instead of fearing objections, embrace them. Every objection provides you with an opportunity to share the right information with your customer that can move her to the next stage in your sales process. Aha! Price. Is that a common objection you hear? It is a prevalent objection that all sales professionals encounter on a daily basis. Price objections simply mean that your customer is looking for more information and may have a fear of spending the money. First, focus on the unique value of Avon and new products. The unique values include your personalized service that she will not be able to get with any other brand. This is a big one here. You are her personal skin care assistant. You can help her personally when she does not remember all of the steps correctly. And Avon's 100% satisfaction guarantee is also a big value. The other reason behind price objection is your customer needs to be able to justify the cost. Hmm. How can you help her justify that cost? Ask questions like, how will you feel when you are able to look in the mirror and not see dark circles looking back at you? Also, when is the last time you rewarded yourself and invested in your own beauty? Help her see that it is okay to spend money. And remember, use those concerns that she has and ask her, how will she feel? The next is try breaking down your total costs into daily small amounts so the customer can see the value of purchasing Avon products. If your customer uses her products as directed, she would only need to replenish three to five times a year using four times as an average. Investing in a $150 purchase would be a $50 a month investment in her beauty. Break that down even further into a daily amount that brings her investment to a little over $1.60 a day. Four times a year, which is three months, which is 90 days. Share the example with your customer. A great example of what a customer might say, might say is, Avon costs too much. I can get the same skincare products from a different brand, say cheaper. What at this time you will use is a process called feel, felt, found. So remember those words, feel, felt, found. Basically is, I know how you feel, I felt the same way, however I found. Or you can say, I had a, I had a customer who, who used to feel that way, they felt this, and they have found this. So here's some wording. I understand your concern about how you feel about the cost. I have a customer who felt the same exact way as you. They found 
that they made a great decision to become my customer using skincare and invest in their beauty. You might want to give it the same chance. Our next typical objection type is complacency. Being already satisfied or having the fear of change for what is already in place. You might hear statements like, I'm okay with the skincare products I have now, or I've been using brand X forever. Loyalty is exactly what you are looking for in and a new customer. Loyalty means repeat business for you, correct? When you hear this objection, you should feel your energy soar because this objection just turned into an opportunity for you. This customer is a loyal brand user and you can give her more information which will turn her into a loyal customer for you. This is where step two really helps you overcome her need for more information to change what she is using right now. The a new customer likes to stay up to date on what is going on in the world of skincare and to be the first among her friends to try the latest and greatest skincare products. She loves to give her recommendations and testimonials to her friends. Looking and staying young is really important to her. Ask this customer a very important question and it is, tell me more about why you use blank products. What keeps you loyal to that brand? Listening at this point for you is really important because she is getting ready to tell you what she needs to hear about anew to become your loyal anew customer. Let's, let's explore some watch out tips here. That means things you're not going to want to do. So never use the or bad mouth the competition, the brand she is using. So say she's using blank brand, don't say anything bad about that brand. Ask why she likes her brand now. When you respond, try not to use the name of the brand. Just ask her why she likes that specific product. If she uses the word love, don't mirror it back to her. Meaning don't say the word. Always ask in replace of the word love, say like or use. Then use your tools that you have to identify which skincare regimen is truly a custom experience for her. Again, when you ask the question about the products that she used and she says things like, I'm okay with the skincare products I have right now, or I've been using blank brand forever. Remember, loyalty is very important to you. So what you're going to use is the feel felt found system again. I'm so glad loyalty is very important to you. Why do you use brand blank? That's a question you're going to ask her. Then when she comes back and says, you're going to say, I have a customer who feels just like you before she started to use some of our products. She felt the same exact way. Once she actually used our products, she found that our products were a great decision for her and her beauty investment. So you might want to give it a try as well. What do you think? I hope you have learned a lot today about objections and how to overcome them. Rhonda and I are super excited 
that you have only two more courses left, remember, you'll, you will need to look at all the videos and answer all the questions from each of the courses which were posted on Facebook in the Skin Care Sales Specialist course Facebook page. So happy selling and recruiting and we look forward to our next course next week with you. Bye-bye.